Our video game industry is hotter than ever this season, and one good reason, Nintendo has introduced some hot new toys. But have things gone a bit too far? So let's crack into this Super Nintendo Entertainment System here. At this point, all I know is that it doesn't turn on. Uh, turn the power on, no red LED, no power. Could be anything after that. It's really interesting to me how some of the case plastics have yellowed and others haven't. And not only is it like inconsistent within the Super Nintendo, it's inconsistent across Super Nintendos, because sometimes you'll see one where the top case is yellow and the bottom case didn't. This one, they both happen to. Once it's out of the case and the RF shielding is removed, we can take a look at this main board and see what we're getting into. So at first, I thought this was flux on the bottom here, and it might be. I mean, just didn't get a good cleaning? I'm not sure. But, it's not, I mean, if it was going to cover the whole thing, you'd think it would cover the whole thing. And it's not looking like there's any corrosion. But if I flip this over, this side, there's only some over here, and that could be, that does look like flux. That looks like flux, but also looks like it could be a capacitor leaking. I don't know. And these SMD caps are going to scare the hell out of me. I've never replaced SMD caps before. But before we do anything else... I do want to get this recapped and get the new 7805 in there and learn what that is. So it's got to be a fuse, 1.5 amp. I got a recap kit from Console 5, who does amazing work. Woo, atomic fireball. I like cinnamon. That would be worth something to me. Uh, Console 5, not sponsored, but awesome guy. Super NES, non-HS, non-HVC SMD cap kit. That goes for that. Super Game Boy cap kit, that's for another project. Pico Axial Lead Super NES Famicom Fuse, that is the replacement fuse, but and these are for the Atari 2600. Yeah, I ordered a bunch of stuff at once. Uh, also, I ordered from Senor Bezos. whole bunch of these cap kits and some more one and a half amp there we go. Uh, one and a half amp fuses which are also very useful because most of the Commodores use one and a half amp fuses as well so we're actually going to use this to replace the fuse in the Super NES side for now. I marked everything that was getting replaced with the gold marker so that I would know whether or not I did everything. And I'm glad I did because I thought there was an extra capacitor, but it's actually for a mod that I didn't have to do. Uh. I'm sure there's someone screaming at their screen about how I have no idea how to 
remove and resolder SMD caps. And you'd be absolutely right. This is the first project I've worked on where I've had to replace SMD caps. Uh, and no, I'm probably not doing it right, but I also don't really own a hot air gun and don't know what else to do. And of course the boss had to check in. You know, he's got to make sure I'm doing these through hole caps correctly. And uh, good thing he was here because you know, it was a struggle and I needed someone to talk to. But in all reality, working around your cat in a soldering iron is probably just the most terrifying thing ever. Watching back as I edit this, I realize it probably would have been better off just removing all of the old solder for the fuse, uh, rather than just reflowing it with new solder, but, you know, it worked, kind of. Getting the actual fuse on was a bit more of a struggle, um, mostly because my brain forgot how soldering works and that it's hot, and so I would heat up the metal and then my fingers would be like, ooh, this is really warm! And that doesn't necessarily go well for me. Um, it takes a few tries to get it in there, but, you know, eventually I get this in and I really wanted to do the glass fuse in here rather than doing another axial inline. Because if the problem is something on the board and I blow another fuse, then I have to take it off and solder in a new one. Now if I blow a fuse for some reason, I pop out a glass fuse and pop in a new one. And that seems like a much smarter idea to me right now. We've got everything recapped. not right, but it's better than no output at all. Okay, so originally I got to this point and was debating whether or not I should put this video out now or if I should wait till I get it completely finished. Um, threw a poll up on Twitter, but that hasn't even ended yet while I'm recording this because I realized I did do my research uh, while I was waiting and found that the error I'm looking at, the graphical error I'm looking at, is most likely a problem with one of the PPU chips. And I don't have a donor machine to put in a test chip. So I'm going to put this up for now. Uh, if anyone has any ideas besides the PPU one chip going bad, uh, which they are known to do, or if you want to donate a chip, or if you think it's something else, uh, I'm open to all suggestions. I'm really curious if anyone else uh, has run into something like this. The Super Nintendo is one of my favorite consoles that's not a computer of all time. Like, it, this is what I played in my formative years, and I would love to get this one working again. So, if you think I'm just completely wrong on thinking it's a PPU1 chip that's gone bad, let me know. If you think I'm absolutely right that it's gone bad, let me know that too. Uh, but at this point, I can only really stop here until I can get a chip in or a donor machine that has different problems that aren't video that I can harvest a chip out of or something. And at the moment, I just don't have any of those options available. So for now, I'm going to put it back together and put it on the shelf until 
I can take a look at it again. And hopefully that's sooner than later. I do have some work to do. Um, I have a pair of 5200s, Atari 5200s, that both have different problems, and I think I'm going to Frankenstein them together to make a working one. So that'll be the next project. Plus you have to do a mod to it to be able to use uh, power because of the way they designed it. But I've already got that kit in from Console 5. So I think that'll be the next video, and... I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and press that subscribe button in the center of the screen. I've also got a couple other videos I think you might enjoy.